Here in Germany, the number of coronavirus infections has soared in recent days. The country's leading public health institute is warning that people are letting down their guard and not observing social distancing measures. Ironic, then, that Berlin is set to see its biggest demonstration against coronavirus restrictions. Thousands of people are gathered in the German's capital, Central Tiergarten Park, for a mass rally demanding an end to all virus-related restrictions. Conspiracy theorists, anti-vaxxers, and right-wing extremists from across the country are among those attending. It comes as Germany braces for a potential second wave of the coronavirus. DW political correspondent uh, Leonie von Hammerstein is at the protest, and she joins me now. Leonie, welcome. What's happening where you are? Well, I'm standing here behind me. Tens of thousands, I'd say at least 15,000 people have gathered. You described it for, they call it a day of freedom, the end of the pandemic. They are celebrating the end of the coronavirus pandemic as authorities are warning of a new surge of infections. And right on my other side, uh, you can see the counter protesters that have also gathered here. The apparent difference, as you can see, counter-protesters are wearing the face masks, are keeping the social distance, whereas the protesters here at this match are not. Um, almost none of them are wearing face masks, and, and they've been shouting, and the pandemic has never happened, uh, the pandemie gab es nie. Um, and there was an interesting standoff between counter-protesters and protesters, both shouting at each other, Nazis raus, Nazis get out of here, because mm. the people who are attending this march um, are expressing their discontent, their distrust with the government's measures um, and are calling those that are listening to the government's um, lockdown measures, the coronavirus restrictions, um, comparing them to, Nazi, to the people who followed the NS regime in the 30s. Um, so this is an interesting conflict going on right behind me. Yeah, and an interesting uh, uh, contrast between you wearing the mask and all those people behind you, uh, obviously flagrantly not doing so. I'm really curious about those protesters uh, taking part in the demonstration today. Could you tell us a little bit more about who they are? Exactly. I talked to many of the protesters here, and there's really a wide variety of people who have come here from all over Germany, transported. Uh, let's start with, I talked to a bus um, bus driver from Croatia who has uh, driven protesters from the south of Germany up to the north. He is protesting the coronavirus restriction that's a, that have impacted the tourism industry. Then I talked to somebody, or better, a protester shouted in my face, and we've seen that a lot, a lot of verbal abuse and attacks um, up until uh, physical, physical uh, people are not keeping their socialists and also to us as the press, um, as the press. Um, who, is, who believes in conspiracy theory. He believes that Bill Gates is a very common conspiracy theory that Bill Gates is behind the coronavirus and mm. wants to vaccinate, forcefully vaccinate everybody. And the German government is helping him to do that. So we see a wide variety of people who are concerned about their, their parents, um, um, who are concerned about the restrictions in place because their parents are lonely, up until right-wing and far-right, right-wing extreme magazines and groups who are under observation by the authority. I saw someone from the Compact magazine who's been under observation by the authorities for its xenophobic and revisionist um, messages. So you can see there's really all, all sorts of people attending this rally. Um, Definitely what we can say to sum up is they don't trust the government, they don't trust the government measures, and they don't trust the media, and they don't trust the media of telling the truth. Leni uh, von Hammerstein, thank you for that, and uh, stay safe, of course. Let's take a look at uh, some of the other coronavirus-related developments. The number of deaths in Mexico has surged past 46,000. It's now poised to overtake Britain as the country with the third highest death toll behind Brazil and the U.S. British Prime Minister Boris Johnson says he's putting on the brakes, easing lockdown measures, and will be instead imposing new restrictions. That's after a new spike in coronavirus infections in the U.K. And in Japan, the region of Okinawa has declared a state of emergency. People have been asked to stay home for two weeks as the popular tourist destination sees a surge in new cases.